You're listening to an Airwave Media Podcast. I feel like who Art Ed? Who Art Ed? Mr. Wood, Art Ed, me. <laughs> yeah. Either way, it, it's a big, it works on so many levels. I know. I thought it was a great start. Welcome to Who Arted, weekly art history for all ages. I'm your host, Kyle Wood, and today we're going to be talking about the work of Yayoi Kusama. Now, Yayoi Kusama is one of the most popular contemporary artists with her infinity rooms drawing massive crowds wherever they're installed. In the infinity rooms, the walls are covered in mirrors, creating reflections of reflections that seem to go on forever. The idea of playing with reflections was a fixture in Kusama's work pretty much right from the start. As I covered in my previous episode about Yayoi Kusama, she grew up in Japan where her family owned a nursery. She was surrounded by plants and looked at nature around her, imagining not only what was beyond the mountains and the landscape, but what was inside the plants, the rocks, the dirt. This is where we get her signature polka dots, although she refers to the repeated dots as infinity nets, a visualization of the structures that make up all of the things in our world and even our universe. I suppose I might think of the dots as representing cellular structures, even atoms, but she would call them infinity nets. I guess the net signifying that all of these seemingly discrete bits, the building blocks like atoms, are bonded into molecules making up larger compounds and that everything is made up of tiny bits but that all of those little bits are connected in some fashion. Growing up in Japan, Kusama enjoyed art but she was not encouraged by her family. In fact, she described her mother as abusive, and understandably, Kusama sought to escape. At a second-hand bookshop in Matsumoto, Japan, Yayoi Kusama stumbled upon a book of paintings by George O'Keefe. O'Keefe was the only American artist that Kusama knew anything about at that time. A friend of hers had told her that Georgia O'Keefe was the most famous painter in the U.S., Now, In a turn that shows just how different the world used to be, Yayoi Kusama was actually able to find George O'Keefe's address. She rode the train from Matsumoto to Tokyo and on to the American Embassy, where she went through a copy of a book, uh, Who's Who, where she was elated to find George O'Keefe's mailing address. Kusama wrote to O'Keefe telling her of her dream to be an artist in America and included some of her recent watercolor paintings. Amazingly enough, Georgia O'Keefe wrote back. She encouraged Kusama, but it wasn't the standard sort of, hey kid, those paintings look great kind of thing. O'Keefe encouraged Kusama to come to America, and while they only met in person once... Georgia O'Keefe and Yayoi Kusama would maintain correspondence for years, with O'Keefe offering career advice and support 